um, saw it happen. The students are, are, are shaking. We should not have to really worry about our kids. A young teenager gunned down simply hanging out with friends before school when a separate group walked up and opened fire. Tonight, another Philadelphia family is grieving the loss of a child. Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off. The shooting happened around 9 this morning near West Clearfield and North Judson Streets. The 13 year old was sitting in a car just blocks away from his middle school. Jasmine Payud is live at police headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Jasmine? Jess Mavers, who heard the gunfire, recalls seeing a group of young boys running for cover. This shooting now adding to an already troubling list of homicides. For the 34th time this year, a child was killed somewhere in Philadelphia. It's stupid. It don't make no sense. This time, neighbors tell Eyewitness News the victim turned 13 a day before his death. I remember Marvin Gaye writing a song, What's Going On? What is going on? Police say the teen was inside of a red PT cruiser with about four to five other people. When a separate group of people approached the vehicle, then started firing. The brazen shooting unfolding on West Clearfield and Judson Streets in North Philadelphia around 9 o'clock Friday morning. I was just in class doing work, and then I heard that um, a kid had got shot. I'm around the school. Three kids um, saw it happen. The victim, who has not been identified, was on his way to E.W. Rhodes Middle School, about a half mile away. The chaos prompting school officials to put the school on lockdown. When you have children who either witnessed or they see that there's an empty chair in their classroom, they don't want to see that happen again. As some parents picked up their children early, others asked where were the parents of the victim. You can't be around your kids 24 7. You just got to hope and pray that they really do the right thing. Shonda McLeland is a member of Mothers Bonded by Grief. She lost her 17 year old daughter, Erica, nearly four years ago to gun violence. She says because of incidents like this, her group keeps on growing. Every day, we cannot catch a break. And they are getting younger and younger and younger. And this is so not acceptable. Police have not named any suspects. Anyone with information is urged to contact them. We're live at police headquarters. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you.